We have a new best player. Sad thing is, we can't use him in the opening game. Hello there, welcome back to the channel for Club 2, episode 4 of Hall of Famer FM23 with Motherwell. Of course, uh, we're a few episodes into the new club now, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, then please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you do happen to be new. So we have a brand new player, Mateus Inho, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, 25 years old, not capped at any level for Brazil, but he's four, and a, he's four stars, which is pretty good for us. He joins us from ATP in Brazil, of course, for £1.4 million, of course, most of it is on instalments. I am not an idiot. Um, finances wise uh, we're not looking too bad we've got a little bit of uh, transfer budget left we are over the wage budget now so um, we're currently spending that uh, because are we still waiting on a transfer or two uh, we are burrito burrito I might be hungry um, I'm not actually um, a loan signing um, another player we're waiting on for a work permit again Brazilian again not capped but a defensive midfielder which is something we really do need because Goss is crap basically so there we go so in this game i mean i say in this game um between the last uh between now and the last episode we did draw 1-1 at dundee united it was a uh, last minute equalizer from mark ferry his first goal of the season so i will most certainly take that now we play malbo first obviously we can't use our new sign in mateus and Hoy because he's not registered for it but he will feature in the game against volkirk so guys let's get into it Right, after me popping out for a few jobs and a few hours later, plus a McDonald's because I was hungry, this is the team we are sending out to face Malmo and uh, England are 3 nil up at half-time as well, so I thought I'd keep you update on me watching the World Cup while recording videos for you guys. Why the hell not? So we are going with Kelly in goal, a bat for Krios, Lamy, Solom Johnson and O'Donnell, May, Miriam and Tierney in midfield with Towson, Towson and Spittle supporting Riviera up front. Um, might have mentioned this in the previous clip, not sure. I currently have some work done in the house, so you may hear the odd drill or saw or something in the background. Um, it is like the opposite end of the house, but I can hear it quite clearly. So um, you guys might be picking it up, I'm really not sure. I'm just having a bit of work done in my kitchen because having some more units installed, you know, might as well make use of the space if you've got it. So um, we're going to go on to key highlights, of course, and uh, the Mamo keeper just wandering around with the ball there. So any odd T... Oh, Burnley. What? How are Burnley in this competition? Blimey. Oh, no, that's not good. He is absolutely boned as well, isn't he? He is moving with the ball relatively okay. He gives it back to Quiros. It's Miriman with a shot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and Miriman has scored a cracking goal. Wow. Get in there. Oh, Miriman, take a bow. Thank you. Wonderful stuff. That has been put over the top, but we will get to this. Kelly uh, takes control. And wax it right up the field. Can we win this? Not straight away. We've got it back through Rivio. Rivio, okay, very weird pass there. Lamy on the ball to Quiros, to May, across to Miriman, the goal scorer. Quiros, back to Lamy. Lamy to Quiros. Quiros, turning back to May. May tries to put it over the top for Riviero, who I think's on side, and he scores. Is that going to count? No, I didn't think he was going to. Yeah, I thought that was offside. That's fair. That is fair. Off camera, uh, I uh, wandered into the uh, Europa Conference League bit. And I think there is another qualifying round that we've got to go through before we get to the group stage. So, um, more than likely, I'm going to show you that should we get there. So, um, you got that to look forward to. So, there. There we go. Right, Spittle with a free kick just before half time here. He tries to whip it in. Lamy can't win it. But we have it back through Spittle. Spittle now on the edge of the box. Spittle. Still there. He goes back to O'Donnell. O'Donnell, what's he going to do? Puts it into Tierney. Oh, and it's been deflected in. And it's 2-0. And we lead Malmo. 2-0 at half time. This is wonderful stuff. Come on. And this is working wonders for our bank balance. Get in. 
Come on. Wonderful stuff. 2-0 at half-time against Malmo. And uh, I am very happy. Very, 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 very happy. Come on. Right now, Malmo have the ball here in their third. Can we win it back? Oh, we might. No, maybe not yet. Not yet, at least. We have won it back now. Miraman now. Lovely ball there to Rivio. Puts it on a plate for Bamel. Oh. That's a really good opportunity there as well. That was really good. And it's been cleared. Bramel now. Bramel across to O'Donnell. O'Donnell takes a touch too far there. All right, Adam May for Sean Goss. That's fine. We'll make that change. No problem at all. And we've got... 10 minutes, just over 10 minutes to hold on to this now. And we're looking good for it. We have been the better team here. It's now Goss. Goss lumps it over the top. And Spittle will get to this. Spittle's in the box. Spittle shoots. Oh, and he hits the post. That is a really good effort as well. I think it's time to make another change or two. Right, we'll bring Campbell on for Johnson. And we'll bring uh, Leon's Foster on for uh, O'Donnell. And we'll bring Ferry on for Octavio. Because why the hell not? Confirm those subs. Ten minutes to go. And we're looking good. We've not been prolific by any means. But um, we've, we've had four shots on target. Same as those. But we have had so many more efforts on goal. And we're looking good. Quiros, is he going to have a shot? No. Bramall. Bramall to Miraman. Miraman to Turney. Turney, have a dig. Come on, man. Have a dig. Oh, such a tame effort, man. Such a tame effort. But there you have it. 2-0 win over Malmo. Come on. That is what I'm flaming talking about, baby. That is the stuff. That is the stuff. That is cracking, cracking stuff. Really happy with that. How much money is that netted us? Because this just gives me, like, vi like flashbacks to the... Um, to the thing we did with Kiru Ely. Oh, Towson's out for three weeks. That's not good. We got 85k. I'm guessing we're going to get... If we get knocked out soon, I'm guessing we're going to get a lot more. Fixture rearrangements. So we've got Falkirk still coming up. And we're playing Zelina. So, again, this is another game that I'm going to have to show you. A Slovakian team. And General... They're like the same as what we faced the last two rounds. So that's winnable. I would definitely say that that is definitely winnable. I mean, do I st <sighs> I'll still show you the Falkirk game because you can see a few of our new sign-ins in action. And we'll probably uh, like start a few youngsters as well. Uh, like uh, Johnston, uh, maybe Clark, uh, Frankie Wilson, David, Mello David Miller... Uh, Dylan Wells possibly see what I mean in the background noise you might be picking that up or not I'm really not sure but anywho uh, we still have a couple of transfers ongoing so uh, Barreto and Chris Chris Cohen as a coach and um, I've only decided to bought him bring, bring him in because there was a clause in someone's that someone wanted like I promised him that I would uh, bring in like, was it you was it you that I promised that I'd bring in uh, better coaches Uh, it might have even been him. Yeah, it was him. That's cool. But he's on a long-term contract, and I'm not expecting to make a loss on him when we sell him. If we sell him. Well, let's face it, when we sell him. Let's be honest. <laughs> but there we go. Um, I'm going to have to take a brief pause, because um, I'm going to have to go out now and do a couple more jobs. It's just my work schedule. You guys know it how it is. But um, unless there's any other business, I'll see you for the Falkirk game. Two hours later, here we are for the Falco game. I have made a few changes, as you can see. I've not gone overboard. Uh, Matej Ho has his first start for the club. We also confirmed the loan signing of Barato, or I'm going to have to call him Burrito now. And um, we did sign Chris Cohen as a coach, and um, he still thinks, yeah. 
Um, but, you know, Cohen's not actually that bad. So I guess we'll see. So uh, we're giving the um, up front to uh, Ferry today. Hopefully he can come in with a goal or two. Number will have to be given to Matasenho. And he is going to be the number 21. Because why not? A cracking performance by England. One in 6-2 against Iran. Not bad at all. Cracking, cracking stuff. Um, my phone case has now come, which is uh, which I'm really happy with. It's um, it's a lot bigger than what I thought it would be. Like the actual case itself, I mean, it holds the phone in really, really nicely. But um, the actual case, I've got four slots for cards or money, and then there's a money pocket underneath as well. So that's nice. It's very shiny because it's silver. Quite happy with that. Although silver and red, do they go together? Kind of, maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get into this game against Falkirk. I'm hoping for a good performance here. And uh, a nice debut for Matasenho. I think Falkirk are in the Cinch League 1, maybe the Championship. So this should be a straightforward win. And we really shouldn't be positive. Goss! Oh, he hits the crossbar. Maybe even attacking, because originally I believe this was an attacking tactic. Um, for the life of me, I cannot actually remember now. Hello, doggy. Got a dog by my foot now. Hello, are you a fool now? You've had your food. That's good. Right then, allow me to Quiros. Quiros, coming forward. Oh, gives the ball away. That wasn't very good. Now it's with Henderson now for Falkirk. The um, Premier Sports Cup, whatever this is called... <clears throat> it's a very short competition by all accounts. Um, because we get through this round. Oh my god, what are you doing? Right, Lamy to Quiros. Quiros to Goss. Goss, oh, he's lost the ball so easy, but we've won it back. It's Quiros again. Lamy. This highlight is going on for a bit longer than anticipated, but Campbell whacks it forward. Henderson does collect it very nicely and coming forward for Falkirk. Out to McCann on the left hand side. 22 minutes in. I have a feeling this is for Falkirk here. And they've scored. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's not good. That is really not good. I mean, should Celtic or Rangers or both get knocked out? Oh, wow. 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 Oh, dear. Oh dear indeedy. Oh wow, okay. We're breaking again. This isn't good. Clark on the left hand side. Very audacious pass there. Hill heads it clear to Morrison. Can we win this back? We can somehow. Right, Campbell. May. Down to Spiritual. Puts in Ferry and Ferry scored. He's got a goal back. 2-1. Mark Ferry getting a goal back. Nice one. And can we get on level terms before half time? <coughs> Unfortunately not, but towards the end of that first half, things were encouraging. Um, I'm going to still berate them because that was just piss poor. We shouldn't be losing against Full Kirk. This is silly. Um, Mateus in the Oh, I made himself a poor groin. I think it. I think it, it did say that he should be able to get through it. Lammy heads it back to Kelly. Bit of an overreaction there for that, isn't it? Kelly throws it out to Mateus and Ho. You can still see we have a annoying dog in the background. Right, Goss with a bit of space here puts it over the top, but for Clark to chase, he's not going to get to it, is he? Kerr. Let's get it back. It was to Morrison who kicks it right up the field. But we have won it back to give it away. But Goss has managed to ball. And Clark is on side. Oh, and Stuart Clark has scored. No, he hasn't. It's been disallowed. I had a slight feeling he was offside. That's annoying. Right, we're demanding more. Because this, I mean, why are you getting annoyed? Why are you getting annoyed? I don't get it. Right, we're going to have to go very attacking now because this is not good. Right, we have a corner. Goss to take. That's been cleared. And May gets to it. May slips a nice ball through to Ferry. Cross the Spirital. Or Spittle, I should say. 
and we've equalised. No less than I expected. Now let's go on and win this, please. We'll drop back to attacking and we'll encourage. Uh, Spittle needs to come off. So you can come on. We'll bring Octavio on for <coughs> Farry. And Tom on for Quiros. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we'll encourage just before. Right, do we go? Yeah, we got extra time here. Great. Okay. That'll be good for the legs. I mean, I'm disappointed because we couldn't beat them in regulated time. You know. What on earth? What's going on here, guys? This is silly. Right, Dean Cornelius is coming on for May. And it's always the same. You never have a highlight during the first part of extra time. It's always the same. Right, very attacking now. Right, okay, that was weird. Right, come on, demand. No, we're not going to demand more because there's a highlight here. Clark back to O'Donnell. O'Donnell slips it in. It's Clark. Broom. And it's a goal. And we've completely turned it round. We lead 3-2. And that's good. Thank you. Let's go to positive now for the last couple of minutes. It's been held up the field again. And Goss now. Goss quits to Broom. Broom with a cross. And Clark with the header. Tame effort, really. Morrison holds it up the field with a goal kick. And it is Falkirk still on the ball. Morrison oh, is giving it away to O'Donnell. O'Donnell whacks it up. And we've got it back. Broom now. That's Foster. Goss. Goss out to Clark on the left-hand side. Clark has actually played relatively well here. I say that, and then he gives the ball away. Right, and we've won it back. Cornelius now. Cornelius tries to get it through to Clark, but he can't. He'll wax it up the field. But Oliver now. For Falker. Oh, well done, Campbell. Well done. That's why I like having the get stuck in instruction on. And we've conceded a corner. I'm th I'm thinking we're gonna, it's going to be full time. It is. And we've managed to turn it around and win the game 3-2 after extra time. Um, that was a good win. Well done. We were 2-0 down. So it is a good win in my eyes. It really is. So we will take that. But we are through to the quarterfinals now, which I guess is good. It will be another cup on the CV should we manage to do it. Um, but we'll see. We will see. But um, I'm really happy with that. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, I'd really like to sign him. I mean, some of these I would really kill for. If I could just have, like, 20 million and sign all these players, we could be competing for the title. But that's probably not going to happen, is it? But there we go. So, oh, no. Is he at... Oh, he's out, for, he's out for a little bit, isn't he? That's not the worst thing in the world. Right, schedule-wise, I think it's pretty obvious what we're going to be doing. We're going to come back and show you Zelina, and we're going to be doing both legs of that game. <clears throat> both legs in that episode, I should say. We'll do the St. Marin game off camera, and there we go. But there we go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. Hit that subscribe button if you do happen to be new to see how we get on in our Motherwell adventure. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. Ciao for now.